This video is brought to you by OriginPC.com. Go to OriginPC.com for the latest in gaming laptops and desktops. OriginPC.com. Click the link in the description down below. And welcome back. And we're going on to the third part of the game. Uh, third, the th the stage six, but on the way to the third boss. That's what I'm trying to say. Ooh. Mmm. This is nice. Yeah, this thing is coming out of the tree, so I like to be very careful. And... Okay. Yeah, I've actually... Um, something in we were talking about in the last episode. I actually have had this game in my collection... For, I want to say, about a good 15 years. And and I've already told you the story of how I came across this, or how I got a copy of this game. And, um, yeah, I've had this for 15 years, and I intend on keeping it for another 15 or however long I decide I want to keep the game. And it's kind of a... I know the game goes for quite a lot on you know, online, but the fact is, I am not intending on ever selling it. I don't have no reason to sell it. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Cool. Get those water things and you can get the get you some points and then got enough points where I got an extra guy, so oh yeah. There we go. Let's see. I think there's something here. Yep. Food. Come on. Okay. <laughs> See, that's why I love the boomerang so much. All right. Now, if, if you kind of recognize the song, this is from the uh, second, st the second stage, or not second stage, but I'm trying to remember what it's called. Anyways, this second set of blocks from the first Castlevania game. It was a nice little electronic version of it. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, catch the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this thing. Oop, be careful. I don't want to sink. Okay. Don't sink in that mud. It's a bad thing. All right. Oh, and something else I haven't done here in this game is what's unique to this version is. Yep. I can. Now, if I can, I can. Um. Now if I jump, I can whip downwards and, you know, like this. But uh, I can't seem to do any other directions. When I whip, so that's fine. Okay, all right. Now I gotta be careful right here because as soon as I jump on this thing, it's gonna start rising. And if you see the blood on there, you can tell somebody's been here before. They got themselves crushed. So just get to be careful. All right. So I guess another reason why I decided to play this game is because obviously the game grumps right now. Well, they were covering this game, but I know these guys. They've only beaten like they've completed maybe just one. Um, not great. I have to jump up. Anyways, they don't normally finish Castlevania games on their channel. They maybe just one that they finished. And that was uh. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest 
but I haven't seen him finish any other ones. Like, I really wish he would go back and play, um, or finish up Super Castlevania 4, because honestly, that game is not hard. In fact, that was one of, that's one of my favorite Castlevania games. No, it's the absolute favorite Castlevania game of mine. And they've never finished it. Which is kind of sad. It's not hard. It's not that difficult of a game. So, but I'm sure maybe at some point if somebody begs to them and say, you know, ask them, please, finish Castlevania 4, maybe they would. But yeah, I've yet to see them finish any other one besides Simon's Quest. So who knows? Maybe the gaming gods will smile upon thee and say, yes, we're going to have those guys finish that game. Anyways, boss time. I say boss time. Let's see here. This guy is so easy to beat. Oh, see? That didn't take anything. That was too easy. Alright, so just give me that orb. Yeah. That is one of the easiest bosses in the whole game, apart from the bat we saw at the very beginning. So, yay. Yay for me. Alright. Let's see what's next. Ooh, Medusa. Definitely keeping the boomerangs for this one because, you know, as you've seen in Castlevania 4, pretty easy to beat with, though. Ooh, yeah. Didn't take much to defeat her, so. Oh, and this arranged version of Bloody Tears. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is like a Castlevania staple. Got you, and of course got Medusa heads in there, a pain in the ass. Oh great, and a lot of hearts. There we go. Hey, I got one. Okay, time to climb on up. Okay. All right. Whoa. Okay, so, oh, that, and I didn't take much to beat him, so, woohoo. Nothing up there, which is perfectly fine. I thought there would be, you know, pork chop. I don't call it wild chicken because um, it doesn't look like a thing of chicken. Since when did you guys see a chicken leg that large? It's a pork chop. Anyways, let's see if I can reach you from here. Yes. Then down, pick it up, all right. <coughs> these blood skeletons, I hate these damn things. But they are coming from somewhere. So let's find out. It looks like there's blood drops. You know, drops of blood coming from... Well, there you go. Bloody tears. This is a perfect scene and a perfect song. Very nice. Mmm. -hmm. Damn it. All right. Okay, so I can't get past there. But I can do this. Let's see if there's anything down here for me. Oh, money. That's great. Extra points. I really was hoping for another, um, some more, another pork chop. <laughs> okay. What's down here? Oh, right. Okay. Well, this is all about timing. And there we go. Hmm. <laughs> the ghost. Okay, nothing there. Fine. Off we go. 
And this candle holds a heart. I think it's called a candle bra. If I recall ever so correctly. Alright. Oh shit, that, damn it. I was never good at clearing that part, but that's fine. That's okay. Alright, what's. Okay, you guys want to. Like, ease up on the jumping around and stuff? Mmm. Got your ass. Alright. Okay, I didn't mean to fall that like that. I didn't mean to just I was just trying to get the skeleton out of the way, but that's fine. We can deal. We can deal. Whoa! I forgot all about you. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I forgot all about that thing. See, it makes it easier when you have a damn weapon such as the the, uh, the cross. Okay, just need to get some health here. See anything here? Yes, thank you. Now we go up against Medusa. All right. Okay. Okay. And that's all I do it. Yeah. Just as effective in this version of Castlevania. Because in Super Castlevania 4, you saw how quick they defeated her. But of course, they went right through her and came right back. Here, it just touched her and, it, and hit, of course it hit her. But, it's a nice long distance weapon. So I didn't worry about trying to get close to her. Although, I would love to get close to a hot snake lady like Medusa. Just don't look straight into her eyes, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> I could make a preferred joke about turning a stone, but you know, whatever. Let's not do that. We're gonna keep it PC family friendly around here. <laughs> Since when has the show ever been family friendly? But anyways, next episode of Rose Card Let's Play, another awesome video gets you through the day. So, until you hear from me again, I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>